the only one item on the workshop, I'm going to turn it over to staff here in a minute, but is a discussion and consideration of the proposed amendments to Article 6. It is the height ordinance, um, the height limitation. Jessica, are you doing this one? Yeah. All right, I'm going to turn it over to you when you're ready. Okay. We did briefly discuss this at the last meeting, I believe. All right, so this amendment was discussed at the July 19th workshop. Um, council discussed concerns at that time with eliminating the height limit entirely in the central business district and did not want to include the Waccamaw Riverfront district in the amendment. Staff revised the amendment to include only the central business district and to cap the building height at an average height of 60 feet. So in addition to amending the unified development ordinance, the community appearance guidelines would also need to be amended as they reference the 45 foot height limit in central business district. Per the UDO, the community appearance board makes recommendations to amend the community appearance guidelines. CAB reviewed the proposed amendment and voted not to recommend the amendments with a motion to approve being made, but failing for a second. Um, the main concern of the community appearance board, and there are, there are some members of the community appearance board here as well, is preserving the character and the height of the downtown area. Um, right now, the guidelines give the CAB the ability to grant a variance of one story over a neighboring building. And the concern is that over time with different staff, different boards that eventually if um you know more amendments are made that you'll eventually have you know higher prices um, downtown um so to add to that discussion one thing that staff did um the fire department actually brought a fire truck to the site that we're kind of picking on and using it as an example the kingston um, street lot and you couldn't you couldn't really see it and I, I think we took some pictures also these were in the last presentation there. all right yeah so these are some different views um lee had the fire truck ladder at about you said 61 feet about 66. and um there's just some different um, viewpoints so what are we viewing exactly this is just different parts of the downtown area um, showing you know the the ladder is extended to 60 61 feet on the site in question that's the corner of kingston street and fourth avenue and we and just walked around vantage points right just to try to see if we could see where the fire truck um, ladder is um yeah so you can kind of see there um where i have the arrow pointing you can kind of see the ladder there and this is from Norman's Alley, and I believe on top of the stairway above the trestle, um, you cannot see That's it. Thank you, Mary. Do we know what the, the drop is from, say, Main Street to the foundation of the proposed property? Sure. So the average ranges for elevation at that actual site is anywhere from 14 to 18 feet. But when you get up, up to City Hall, it's 22 to 23 feet. Even higher um, on Fourth and Main, it's 27 to 29 feet is the elevation there. Give us some perspective. Oh, my question would be about buildings downtown in general. Mm -hmm. When you say they can go up a story above the adjacent building, how many of these buildings downtown are even? Do we know how many of them can even have an additional story without knocking it down and starting over? That's a, that's a good point. So obviously, you know, the building official, whenever they would submit plans, they would have to it would have to be determined to be feasible to even be done. But the first thing that they would do would be to submit a plan to um, staff, and the ex and the exterior of the proposal would actually go to the community appearance board. Um, and as explained to the community appearance board, regardless of what the unified development ordinance says, the community appearance board will. Um, you know, vote in favor of an appearance of a building. So that that part would not be, you know, taken away. So if someone wanted to come in next to the haberdashery and that building beside it is probably a story or more shorter, they could come in with a proposal to add another story. Um, and the CAB would determine whether or not that met the, guide, the guidelines. Um, they still wouldn't be able to go right now above 45B. What it's just saying is that the haberdashery is 41 feet in height, approximately. 
So the next building beside it still couldn't exceed 45 feet, but if they wanted to add another story, that would be something that the Community Appearance Board would have to consider. Just because of ceiling heights and things on the inside. Right, just for the appearance, because you want there to be continuity between the buildings. You don't want it to be out of character or out of, out of place with the surrounding buildings. Well, you're talking um, appearance, and I'm talking structural. structural. And that, yeah. They have to have a structural engineer. All of that would have to be done in order to determine if I that just wonder was if we have very many buildings that are built such that they could add. I don't think we do, but we do have. We've got two lots on Laurel. Yeah, we have that. And then there's some on Elm that I can foresee that happening to. Starting from the ground up. Yeah. Lee, what's the what's the ISO rule on on height? And before we go into a new category where it just blows up. 75 feet determines it to be a high rise structure. And at that point, that throws what we have off. Because right now we're required 12 to 16 people to go to a, a fire. That moves it to 42 to 43. Wow. For the, first yeah, round, for the first round of firefighters. So, I mean, that, that would be, I mean, in terms of, of, of us even discussing <coughs> high rise structures, I mean, that, that would be. That would kill it right there. That'd be a deal breaker. That'd be a deal breaker. Yeah. yeah okay. so there's, 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 and that's the same. Outside of ISO, there's several other things that I don't think the city is prepared to, you know, acknowledge as well. So, with if, the NFPA rating and a few other things. So. And that's if it's 75. Yeah. 75. Right. 75. It doesn't go about stories, it goes about deep. Right. Anyone else? The, the, Robert Lewis's building, am I getting that right? The that's one the haberdashery? Mm -hmm. The haberdashery. Oh, that they want to redo, we meant. Mm -hmm. That's how how high again? It's approximately 41, 42 feet in height. So right now it is compliant with the current height limit. But if they wanted to add another story, then they would have to um, get a variance and go to CAB unless the guidelines were. They want to put an upstairs garden or something. It needs a building permit. Yeah, that know. would be an amendment to the. Yeah. I think anything on that building is going to need a building permit. That's that's rough up top. One thing to keep in mind is is our streets don't look the same. Main Street is much taller. Laurel is much shorter. Even Elm is even shorter than that. And that's part of the, the, the development of the city over time and, and the wealth of the city as it developed in, in a, I guess, the westerly way. If we capped ourselves at Laurel and Elm height of one story, we would always stay Laurel and Elm. The reason the Main Street is a bigger street, busier street, more productive street, higher rent street is because the feel of Main Street has a, has more of an urban feel. It gathers higher rents. And it's not because the traffic count, because traffic count actually hurts it. It's the, the buildings themselves feel more prolific. And what we're, what we're doing right now with the 45 foot cap is capping our ability to be prolific in future developments. It's not so much the redevelopment of buildings, it's the building of new buildings right now that's, that's going to be a problem. Adam, may I add something to you? Sure. As a reference point, um, when I worked with the uh, city of Myrtle Beach, um, the cap on the height and the market common was 66 feet um, because there is a need to keep the building high at a walkability scale. And the walkability scale is the ISO one it's city of Myrtle Beach when I was there, um, making sure that we stayed beneath that 75 feet. So the market common, if you've ever walked in the market common area where the apartments are, you know, you have the parking garage, there's two levels of parking garage, and then a couple of like, three left stories of apartments, and that is all under 66 feet. And it relates to the width of the street as well. We don't want to go too much higher than the actual width of the street because then the building is out of scale with the pedestrian environment and pedestrians don't feel safe going there to shop or to conduct their business, so they stay out. Psychology, but <laughs> 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 
Just well, based on what I hear, there's some opportunity for growth. All right. All right. Any other comments? Um, was was your result any different when you tried the balloons? Uh, we did. So it was a windy day when I did the balloons. And what I did was I tied, I think I had five or six red balloons tied to some twine. And I pre-marked out where 60 foot was. I did 45, 60, and 80. And there was one flight that went really good straight up at 60. I had Mary Catherine standing in front of City Hall, and I think Jessica was on the bridge. Neither one of them saw 60, so I went up to 80, and I think at 80, you saw it on the bridge, but Mary Catherine still could not see it at City Hall. So it was for a very brief window that the balloon stayed where they were supposed to, um, and then they were straight down into the ground by the, by the river, but we got them back out. So um, the, the, the advantage to doing the fire truck was that it was stable and it didn't, it didn't go anywhere with the wind. So, uh, But no, it was, it was definitely a duplicatable result. And this is scheduled to go before Planning Commission on August the 5th as well. I don't see any opposition to testing it further. That's all we have to work on so much. Uh, with that done, is there a motion to adjourn Mr. Hyman? I know your name is Hubbard. Mr. Jordan um, hey, is, uh, is it Williams? <laughs> Go Finch. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll make a motion to adjourn. Uh, we have strongly seconded motion to adjourn. All in favor, show me. We are adjourned. Thank you all. Thank you. All right.